one thing that a lot of people fail to do, especially with a fiberglass hole, is to clean thoroughly in these grooves towards the front of the hole and all over the bottom of the hole for that matter. So what I use is a, uh, works really well. Use it throughout the season, but always at the end of the season. You can check the link within this video's description to find the hole cleaner that I use, but I think that's a pretty white hole for about a, uh, this boat's probably about eight years old now, so yeah, I think it looks brand new. A few other things that I do inside the boat. You can see how clean the upholstery is. I cleaned it, I let it dry, and then I used a, uh, a special marine upholstery cleaner and and it, it may potentially prolong the life of the upholstery so I did a thorough job of cleaning all the interior upholstery obviously the carpet uh, one last step I've got to do is is vacuum but what you may also have in your boat if you have one of these that flips over and has a hard surface maybe you use that for getting in and out of your boat what I would advise doing is flipping it over and thoroughly cleaning it and making sure that it's clean just like the rest of the upholstery because that's stuff that if not taken care of you know after storage for the season you know it could be it could be a problem something else I do and I've tried both ways I like to disconnect uh, the battery as you can see there and I carefully put the seat back on and have the wires out and then I'm going to put some electrical tape around those and tape them together so that way I'll know next season that obviously these are the negative terminal that I need to connect all of these. So that'll, uh, last season I used a trickle charger, but this season I'm just going to keep the battery unplugged and see how that compares. I've heard pros and cons both ways. And again, this upholstery done great. Um, another thing right here on my key. It says change oil and get gas because I didn't do it at the end of season. Sometimes I'll do it at the end of season. Sometimes I'll wait until uh, until the start of the next season. It's always good to do it at the end of the season though because then the next season starts and you don't feel like you're having to nickel and dime yourself to get the boat out of the out of storage. These uh, bimini tops, make sure they're thoroughly dried. A lot of people wrap them up and if they have a bimini top cover like this, but I don't. I like to keep the bimini top cover out so that it can air out and the bimini top can wear out. Some people may think their bimini top is dry and store it inside of this, only to discover the next season that their bimini top has dry rotted. Anchor line, definitely make sure it's clean and dry. I keep it out along with the anchor just so it can, so it can uh, hopefully not dry rot. Something else I'll do is open the dry, the storage underneath and I'll just keep this propped open during dry storage. And then that way it can get air. You know, if there is a little bit of moisture in there, it'll better, it should better prevent dry rot. And obviously the front of the boat went in and did a thorough cleaning job. So for the winterization part, you know, take, take it to a, uh, to an authorized mechanic and let them winterize your boat. But as far as the interior of the boat, this is something that if you have time and uh, motivation to do so, it's easy to go out and uh, you know clean your uh, clean the interior of your boat to better to hopefully better prolong the life of your boat. And then also the next season when you take it out, everything's clean and good to go. So I hope this video is of value. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash irixguy, and enjoy all of Captain Irix Guy's other boating videos too. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.